Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I am the creator of the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin. In this video, we're going to be giving you an overview of how to use the dynamic content feature in the video module to connect your video to a custom field and always show that video on the front end. All right, so let's get started. This video will be covering a lot of the information that's already in the written guide. So if you want to have that open, that would be good as well. Uh, the video will appear here in the guide. We also have this GIF and then we have the written instruction. So we're going to be kind of covering that. So first of all, let me show you what it looks like on inside the Divi Builder with a video without our plugin. There's no way to use dynamic content with the video module without our plugin. So here we are, generic page, and I'm gonna add a video module. So by default, it pops up with theirs. So even if I get rid of that, there's no dynamic content option. If I go to add a video, I have to use, you know, upload or from media or from a URL here. So there's no way to use custom fields until now. All right, so there's two ways that you can use custom fields with this video module. Um, almost anything will work as far as custom field solutions. That includes the built-in custom fields, advanced custom fields, pods, metabox, toolset, whatever. It's basically, if you can get the, the URL of the video into the custom field, you know that's going to work and connect uh, with the video module. So there's nothing really specific about the video module as opposed to maybe the map or the gallery module, which we'll talk about in our other documentation. So anyway, you can use the build-in if you want to just um, go ahead and I'll show you that. All right, so now I've activated the plugin and I have the custom fields that come with WordPress turned on. Um, you can check our other video and guide about how to do that. Basically, I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a field. I'm going to say uh, YouTube URL. You could name it whatever you want. Probably something a little more descriptive, but maybe that maybe that's fine. But anyway, I'm gonna paste in a URL just to one of my videos, and then I'll update this. All right, and then I'll go into the builder, and here's where I will add the video module. All right, so by default, Word uh, Divi puts in a, a their one of their videos, so just remove that. Click on the little trash icon, and look at this. Here is the icon that our plugin adds, the dynamic content icon. All right, so click on that and then go down here. Remember, we just put in um, this custom field and we pasted a URL here. So I'll be able to click on that. And now we've officially linked the video module with the custom field. Look, it's already displaying. That's the video I chose. That box, you don't need to do anything to save that. And then here you can see the title of the field. I'm just gonna save this and you can already see that it's working, but I'm gonna exit the builder. And here we have the Divi video module that works perfectly and it's perfectly linked to the custom field. That's as simple as it gets. Now you can also use you know other plugins for the custom field if you want. So let's let's say we have um, advanced custom fields. So I'm going to go ahead and install this just to show you. I'll activate it. And now I'm going to just go over here and set up a field group. So we have, this is just an example using advanced custom fields. Just give it a name like that. But anyway, the main thing is adding the field. Now, like I said, almost any field will work because all we're doing is taking a URL and putting it in that field. So here again, I could say, uh, or I, here, why don't I just say video link or something or just video <laughs> and that's the most important thing the label and then the other important thing is the field type so right here i could use the basic text that would be fine um if you want you could put it on url because you know technically the youtube video link is a url it doesn't matter if it's text or url doesn't matter we'll go ahead and publish this all right, so here I am in my sample page again, and you can see right here's that video field that I just added. So I could paste in the URL there, update that. Now I just wanna make sure that it's linked to that correct field. I'll just show you again. Click on the dynamic content icon, go down here to video. 
save that box and then that and it works the exact same way so again with the video it's pretty simple text even the built-in custom fields if you're using another plugin pods toolset metabox whatever a simple field should be perfectly fine um, just for using the the youtube or another video service url like that again we have written instructions over here in our documentation area basically exactly what i went over um, probably a little less information in some ways but um, that's all available right here's the video that you're watching now i hope that you've enjoyed this and i really hope that you find this useful and innovative and if you can give us a good rating good five-star review that would be awesome we're the only solution out there for this and um, it means a lot to hear your feedback all right we hope you enjoy using the divi dynamic helper plugin